you may already know how to uh, decline your various adjectives in Latin, uh, but sometimes you may be confused as to uh, which declension to follow, which pattern. Uh, is an adjective a first and second declension adjective, or will it follow the third declension pattern? Uh, this lesson is going to help you identify, uh, to, to look at a dictionary entry and say, this adjective is first and second declension, or this adjective is third declension. So, the thing to do is to look at the dictionary entry. There's simply no uh, easy way to, to um, discern whether an adjective is going to be first and second declension or third declension. So, let's take a look first at uh, the first and second declension adjectives. Right, and remember, you're going to have a masculine, a feminine, and a neuter. They're going to come in this order. And they're going to look like bonus, bona, bonum, sometimes uh, abbreviated bonus a uh, um. And uh, the, the, the place to look, really, is going to be the second principal part where you see the A. If you see that, then you can know, oh, this is a first and second declension adjective, where bonus is going to decline in the second declension, masculine, bona in the first declension, it's your feminine, and bonum, your second declension, neuters. Or you'll get adjectives, again, just like bonus carus cara carum, uh, abbreviated carus a um, Again, the same idea. Look to that A. The second principal part will signal, will cue you in. Or it may look like uh, miser, misera, miserum. And here again, the second principal part ends in A. And the key here is this second principal part not only tells you, oh, this is a first and second declension adjective, but also you're going to add the endings right onto miser. So the, the masculine nominative plural would be miseri. So we know that E is going to stick in there. Or we get adjectives like ruber, rubra, rubrum. Or this is going to be uh, abbreviated in some dictionaries, ruber, bra, brum. Again, the second principal part tells you, with this A, says this is a first and second declension. And this second principal part also tells you that this is the stem. The E drops out in everything except the masculine nominative singular. So, to recap, take a look at those principal parts. If the second principal part ends in A, then you know you're dealing with a first and second declension adjective. I'll add a link here to a, a, another video which will show you how to decline those first and second declension adjectives. Uh, but for right now, the, the point is get familiar with how to identify whether an adjective is first and second declension or, as we'll move in here, third declension. So let's take a look at some third declension adjectives. So we get an adjective like keller, kelleris, kellere, swift. And You'll notice the first principal part doesn't give you a whole lot of help because it ends in ER, just like ruber or miser does. But the second principal part is not A. Therefore, since it's IS, what we've got here is a masculine, a feminine, and a neuter, we're dealing in a third declension adjective. And this is one of those that we call an adjective of three terminations. It's got three different endings for the masculine, the fem one for the masculine, one for the feminine, and one for the neuter. Take a look at another one, acre, acris, acre. All right, the second principal part ends in is, signaling to you, ah, this is third declension. And it also tells you that the e has dropped out. So here's our stem, acre. And we're going to add the endings directly onto that, not onto acre. And again, this is a three-termination adjective. We also get adjectives like omnis, omne, all or every. And here I've given you, as Ox, the Oxford Latin uh, course does, I've given you three principal parts. But this is oftentimes, in most dictionaries, in most textbooks, you're going to get just two principal parts. We'll call this an adjective of two terminations. And you get omnis masculine, feminine, and neuter. And the key here, if you see these two parts, again, the second principal part does not end in A. We've got two principal parts, or here are three, so the second ends in IS, if we look at these three. Uh, but the two, not in A, 
as a first and second, so we know this is a third declension adjective. A third declension of two terminations. Another one we get is fortis, 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 uh, fortis, fortis, forte. Oftentimes in dictionaries, this is much more common to just say fortis, forte, masculine, feminine, and neuter. And you see this E, and you know you're in a two termination, third declension adjective. Or ingens, ingentis. Now, this second principal part ends in IS. This is actually the genitive singular for all genders, and ingens is the masculine, feminine, and neuter. But you see these two principal parts. The second one does not end in A. We know we're dealing in a third declension adjective. But here it's of one termination. And I don't want to take time here uh, to decline and to show how these decline, uh, but I will add a link onto this video to another video that shows how to decline uh, third declension adjectives. The key to remember here is take a look at those principal parts. If, it end, if the second principal part ends in A, we're in a first and second. If the second principal part does not end in A, then we're in a third declension adjective. And it's going to use third declension endings. And remember, there's one last thing, and I'm always going to stress this uh, no matter what, when you're dealing with adjectives, they're going to match the noun they're modifying in gender, number, and case. Not in ending. So a first and second declension adjective could modify a third declension noun a fourth declension noun, a fifth declension noun, and the endings aren't necessarily going to be the same, just as a third declension noun could modify, a uh, third declension adjective, rather, could def, uh, modify a noun of the first and second, or fourth or fifth uh, declensions, and the endings aren't necessarily going to be identical. But they will match in gender, number, and case.